The Art of Screen Printing. Hey everybody, it's Lon and Corey with Graphic Elephants, and this is The Art of Screen Printing, presented by GSG. We're going to do spot colors and illustrator, and Corey's going to set that up for us. You ready to share your screen, Corey? So, uh, everybody, this is a, basically a simple spot color setup exercise. Um, and for this, you're going to want to have these two palettes here, um, your swatches and your color. If you're not familiar with where these would be, go into your window, and you will see right here, color, and also your swatches. Make sure that check mark is there, and they should show up right before you, like this is our, like these are here. Um, so this is just a four color design, very simple flat, flat colors. Um, why we want spot colors is because in the digital era of screen printing, um, we require um, basically a digital feed to whether you're printing films or you're going direct to screen, uh, usually using RIP software. RIP software requires a, basically a, a designation to the color so it can see it where it belongs in any given image. Um, in this case, uh, the GSG uh, in white is where I'm going to start with our spot colors. Um, typically, I like to tint a white because if it's ever against a white background, you can't see it. So I always tint mine with uh, just a seven, 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 and a two in our CMYK build here. And then, now that I have that, you kind of see it's a little dirty. Go ahead and click the swatch here in the color palette and drag it right into your swatches palette. There we go. And then now that I click off, you can kind of see there's a little difference here in variation as far as the white versus the dirty one. Now double click on the swatch that you've just created. And now it's going to give you a swatch options dialog box where we're going to set the spot color up. You can see here my build, um, depending on your mode, you can use any mode you want to. Um, that's fine. Here where it's, where it's important is color type. Process color and offset is CMYK. Um, everybody's pretty familiar with, familiar with that. But the other option available here is spot color. And that's what you want to have it on. Then you want to title your color. And then hit return. And now if you go over to your swatch palette, you can see now that this little square where our swatch color is now has a small dog ear in the bottom right corner. And there's a very tiny little spot right in the middle of that wedge. And this indicates that you know it's now a spot color. And in fact, the RIP software will see it as just that. So let's deselect off of that. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with our red, yellow, and our blue. Click on your red, and here again, it shows you the build. And you can make whatever colors you want to. Just click and drag that swatch up. Let's go to the yellow, click and drag it up. Same thing with the cyan, click and drag up. Then deselect, and then same as we did with the white, double click on your red. Now the swatch options dialog box comes back up. Go ahead and make sure these are all spot. Now, whether you're using PMS colors in your shop or your own color designations, um, we use uh, PMS. So I'm just gonna type in titles here as I go through. Go to our yellow, same thing. Make sure that, that spot color is set up there. Do the 109 yellow. And then with our cyan, get that spot there. Okay, now you can just look over here in your swatch palette. You can see all four colors have that same dog ear along the bottom. Now, make sure it's important that even though you've made these colors, always click on your objects and make sure that they are designated to those colors. Otherwise, the RIP software will not see it. Actually, I'm going to do that with ours here. And now every color is, is designated here in our design along with our swatch palette. And then once you when you go to separation, these colors are going to show up in your separator option as far as what colors you're out of. And that is pretty much how simple it is to do a spot color design in Illustrator. And that's important for separations down the road uh, to build everything in spot colors. He's Corey, I'm Lon, and we are Graphic Elephants, and this has been The Art of Screen Printing presented by GSG. See you next time when we will cover spot colors in, uh, in Photoshop.